Ooh. Right, so hello everyone, I'm Claude Alejandro. For those of you who haven't heard of me, I'm a volunteer software developer and also an English Wikipedia editor. Funnily enough, to get to Singapore, I had to go through an airport which had a power outage that I wrote an article about earlier this year. I mostly dabble in user script and tool development. Some of you might know me as the current lead developer working on Red Warn and Ultraviolet. So I'm sure that many of you know the slogan of Wikipedia, Wikipedia the free encyclopedia. The free in the slogan, of course, means free as in free speech. But there's some cases where the users who edit Wikipedia would copy things that aren't free. So things online like news, uh, books, research, and uh, what we could do when, the, when they get imported into the English Wikipedia, we then call them copy virus or copyright violations. So on average, every day there are around 100 new cases of automatically detected copyright violations on, in the English Wikipedia. On some very bad days, we get around 140, but on some good ones, we get around 24 per day. And, but that's mostly the, automatic, uh, the automatically detected copyright violations. So what happens when some of those violations somehow fly under the radar? Well, whenever a contributor has a long time history of uh, placing copyright violations on Wikipedia, they get sent to uh, contributor copyright investigations. So every time a new case is opened on CCI, that's what you call it, uh, it brings dread to almost everyone that's uh, participating in this space. And that's because we have to crawl through every single edit made by that editor to confirm whether or not it's a copyright violation. So as of now, there's 206 open cases. And among all of those cases, we still have to check 500,000 diffs. And that's after removing all of the minor edits and the reverts that they've made. So here's a visualization of all of the uh, currently open diffs. As you can see here, the largest case here actually has 48,000 diffs in it. So with just that size, you can just imagine how many things we still have to check. Uh, CCI is one of the largest administrative backlogs on the English Wikipedia, and it's really hard to get into since there's not a lot of editors and there's so many to do for every day. Uh, not only do we have to fix uh, new cases of copyright violations that we find, but also we have to fix uh, some very old ones. Uh, the oldest uh, case on uh, CCI is around a decade old. But that's not the only backlog that we have. There's also copyright problems. So copyright problems is where uh, so cases of suspected copyright violations go. Uh, unlike the name suggests, it's also a notice board. And what happens is when we find a suspected copyright violation, we uh, put the, this copy via template onto the page. So that temporarily removes the text and hide it from uh, public view. And uh, so the, uh, audit, the notice is uh, pretty old, but currently it's uh, there's plans to redesign it so that it's easier to read and it's easier to follow for, new, uh, for newer editors and so that it looks better. And uh, unlike a, a new page patrol or counter vandalism, copyright is mostly manual. Uh, but thankfully, there are tools that are helping the process. So th those are for our copyright editors that are working hard on trying to fix all of these cases. So I want to give an introduction and a shout out to some of the tools in the space. And I want to introduce something that I've been working on in the past year to help uh, copyright editors with their work. So first in the list, we have Earwig's CopyVio detector. Uh, this is uh, one of the most important and very used tools in the space. Uh, when you give it an article or a revision, it will search the internet for existing copies of that. So we'll be able to find a uh, text that's been copied from a website without attribution. Uh, in some cases, if the, uh, uh, the, if the source that they happen to copy from is linked in the page, uh, Earwig's copy via detector could also find that. There's also an option to use uh, Turnitin, but we barely use that since uh, we don't want to uh, uh, use too much of the resources that was provided to us. And of course, if uh, you use uh, the Google search option too much, uh, the uh, tool currently gives up because uh, um, there's, uh, we make too much of these requests every day because of the amount of uh, work that we have to do. Next is who wrote that? So this is one of the tools that are one of the tools that were made by the rock stars at the community tech team at the Wikimedia Foundation. So it currently uh, finds all of the changes that an editor has made on the page. It highlights it in yellow. And then uh, clicking on a specific part of the text will uh, get, show you the specific diff that introduced that change. 
So uh, thankfully, the, uh, this tool was recently expanded to other wikis as part of a community wishlist survey this year. So it's currently in the process of being expanded and uh, opened up uh, for more wiki studios. Uh, next is the contribution surveyor. This is made by one of the longtime copyright uh, editors that we have on Wikipedia named Mercy. Um, it finds the substantial edits that are made by a specific user, and this is what we use to generate all of the pages we have on CCI. So using this, we're able to uh, find our substantial edits so that we could uh, uh, be able to check them and have them all in a centralized location. And last I wanted to point out was Copy Patrol. So Copy Patrol is uh, also made by the community tech team. Uh, the top three of the editors I checked this morning was Niharika, who happens to be in the room, uh, Music Animal, and Sam Wilson. And uh, it shows a feed of recent changes which may have been uh, taken from somewhere else. Uh, it uses Turnitin, so every single diff is sent through Turnitin for checking. And recently, it's been uh, uh, having some big updates. So recently, the backend was updated to Python 3 from Python 2.7, which was uh, end of life like two years ago. <laughs> and then uh, the front end was also being rewritten into Symfony. So hopefully, we'd have uh, that new version to production very soon. So now I want to talk about uh, the, specific, the, sorry, the specific tool that I made for uh, helping copyright editors. So I called it Deputy. It's named after, well, uh, main, you have a main investigator, and of course, you have a deputy to help you with it. So initially, uh, somebody came up on the user script requests uh, page on the English Wikipedia, and was, they were asking, like, uh, could there be a CCI user script that could help us in doing cases? And uh, it really made me think, like, how do we really do that? I mean, there's so many things to do in CCI. There's many different uh, things that you have to check. So what part of that could be, you know, what, could, what part could we help with? So uh, I went through the process. I uh, did a few cases. And then I noticed that something that was taking quite a while or something that uh, uh, took quite a bit was uh, having to... Uh, go through all of the diffs, check the diffs, or opening them on new tabs, and then loading them in, and then uh, going through the next one, then erasing them from the page manually, because you have to edit the actual uh, on wiki page itself. So uh, I was trying to think of a way to turn that from a single uh, Wikipedia page, or sorry, just a, a page made out of wiki text, and turn it into a usable interface. So I made this mock-up. This was uh, originally made around fe uh, February in 2022. And then I, uh, as soon as I finished it, I sent it over to the uh, CCI channel on the Wikimedia Discord. That's where we hang out usually. And there were uh, some people that were excited about this because this was actually uh, one of the first times that uh, a user script for the, specifically for the CCI process is made. There's uh, currently no other user script that does this. And uh, a friend came up to me and told me uh, you should uh, request a grant for this. So I went to the... Uh, I uh, filed for a grant, and I had, uh, had a talk with the uh, Wikimedia Foundation Senior Program Officer, uh, Jacqueline Chen, who also does the grants in the ECAP region. And thankfully, that grant was approved, so that's where the development of the tool begins. And of course, like every, uh, every development of a tool, then it's obviously there's going to be roadblocks. I mean, this is a tech tool we're talking about. So one of the main issues that I, I wanted to uh, point out today, especially to the developers here in the room, is that um, the... I wanted to warn you in advance for some tools that you might be making. So one is there is a lack of TypeScript typings for the for OUI back when I first wrote, uh, wrote the script. So there's no official TypeScript declaration files because uh, it, uh, it will be, uh, it's uh, mostly written in JavaScript. And we also can't automatically generate those types for two reasons. So first is that it uses JS duck instead of JS doc. JS doc was a uh, JS duck was abandoned over a decade ago, and um, it also use uh, doesn't use uh, imports or exports. It instead modifies a OO.UI global, and uh, automatically generating types uh, doesn't like that. So. Luckily, nowadays, this isn't much of an issue because a volunteer named ThisDance uh, created a type library for this. It's now available on NPM on the, on the library uh, at type slash ojs.ui. So, I mean, uh, Claude, if you wanted to use types, then why couldn't you just use Codex? Well, Codex wasn't actually mature at the time that I started this project. Uh, zero, the version 0 0.1 just came out after the project started, so uh, of course that still lacked a lot of the uh, features that was just currently available in no UI, so I couldn't use that. And uh, the support it has for user scripts is uh, still a bit iffy, so it, I, I, 
could do that, but it'd be a, big of, a bit of a problem. And of course, there is also interference from the real world. I mean, uh, after all, we have real lives as well. I had to uh, graduate high school at the start of the uh, grand period. And at the end of the grand period, I have to move to uh, Manila for college. But in the middle of all of this, I was still giving out uh, alpha releases. So uh, I was giving out uh, special standalone uh, parts of some of, the for some of the modules that I'll talk about later. And I uh, released the first bit of the tool this September, and I'm continually working on it ever since. So uh, here's just a quick summary of the features. This is what the, uh, a normal CCI page would look like. So you can see there's a, a, a few pages that the users have worked on and then a, list, a long list of diffs. So they, every single one of these edits has to be checked. It has uh, content that they added in. They have to um, check every single one of these. So from having a page like this where you have to manually edit it, it now looks like this when you have the tool installed. So over here, you have a drop down to see um, or to indicate um, what status it is, or if you found a copyright violation or not. And then you have a checkbox to uh, remove the diff from the list if you were able to uh, check it. And then some comments. And uh, you could also click this button if you want to uh, check, mark all, all of it as red if you think that it's uh, completely clean. And aside from this, I also imported uh, two of my previous user scripts into Deputy. So, uh, this is the. This used to be the copied template editor, and that was because it uh, was able to edit a copied template. So this is the template right here. Uh, you could uh, edit that template using uh, this interface, and uh, this was uh, recently expanded when I uh, imported it into the Deputy. And now it's able to edit more than just the copy template, but also uh, the split article, backwards copy, and a bunch of other templates along with it. Uh, aside from this, this is another uh, imported part. So this, this one on the left, actually, specifically. Uh, this is an infringement assistant. I named it that back in the day. And uh, it has the ability to uh, blank an entire page or a specific section of the page so that it could be uh, reported the copyright problems with the template that I showed earlier. And uh, aside from this, uh, it now has, uh, when I put it in the deputy, it now has another feature where so this is specifically for copyright clerks. They could immediately respond to uh, existing cases on the copyright problems notice board. So uh, there's a predetermined list of responses that they could make. So that makes their life much easier. And aside from that, uh, for the editors who are currently working on fixing one of those pages, they could see the content without having to uh, edit the page. They could just click a drop down, and it'll show the diff for them. So now let's go into how effective this was. Of course, uh, when you were making a tool, you want to make sure that the uh, uh, editors were uh, satisfied with the work. So I ran a survey around June to uh, uh, find out how uh, people liked the tool. So it was posted on a few of the copyright cleanup uh, project pages, so talk pages and the like. And unluckily, the small sample, uh, sorry, the sample size is pretty small, and that's uh, not because people didn't want to answer the survey, but that's actually because uh, the copyright space is extremely small. There's, like only, uh, oh, there's only like uh, 10 to 15 people active at a single time. So uh, thankfully, they were very, uh, positive on uh, four main metrics. So that's stability, so how buggy it is. Uh, this is a bit of a problem. Well, uh, Deputy really was uh, in beta when I first uh, started with it. So that was pretty much expected. Uh, tool ability, so it could uh, pretty much do a lot of things. So thankfully, that's a bit high. Speed is pretty slow for large cases. So when you're working on a page with a lot of diffs, so it's uh, pretty much the same thing as viewing a page history with like 500 revisions on it. Obviously, you're going to slow down your browser because there's so many elements on it. And for user experience, I'm pretty proud of this one. It was uh, pretty high. So as a front-end developer, I'm really happy that uh, users were uh, happy with the user experience. So six of the responses, still uh, eight of the people who use the tool, by the way. Uh, this is uh, six of the respondents say that uh, it made the work faster. They strongly agreed. They rated it a five out of five. And then two of them rated it a four out of five. So that's uh, still pretty good. Most of the editors used the uh, CCI uh, capabilities. Uh, some of them uh, also used uh, ANTI, so the Attribution Notes Template Editor, which was what I renamed it as. And uh, that's mostly for fixing attribution issues. And then there, uh, there was also a few people using the infringement assistant, but not as much, since you only get to use it uh, sometimes when you're actively working on cases or if you're a clerk who's actively uh, participating in the copyright spaces. 
So aside from this, there were also some, I also provided a list of features that uh, I thought of so that we could probably prioritize them. One of the top ones here was uh, integration with Earwig's tool. So some editors wanted to see uh, the results, like the percentage of copied text for a specific page from within the tool. And uh, there was also uh, a lot of people also wanted a guided process for requesting CCIs. So currently, they have to read through a bunch of instructions, and then they have to uh, file the case manually. So they have to add that section. So that takes a while. So people wanted a guide and experience for that. And then they also wanted article top page tagging. So this was actually one of the features I originally planned, but I couldn't do because uh, a lot of the features of this was already uh, present in Twinkle and a bunch of other tools. And uh, there was also some requests for uh, internet archive bot integration. And that's because when we were dealing with a case, especially particularly old ones, you're going to hit some dead links. And the earwig copy fire detector will not find those dead links because, well, the pages are dead. So what you do is you go on the internet archive, uh, you go to internet archive bot to find the archives, add them into the page. And then the uh, earwig's copy fire detector could check, that, uh, uh, check those archives to see if it, something's been copied from them. And then there's a bunch of other features here, but I won't get into that. Uh, there, uh, I have a limited amount of time here, of course. So a bunch of other honorable mentions from the survey. Uh, there were a total of 10 respondents, actually. So eight of them were using Deputy. Uh, one of them didn't use it, but uh, another one of them uh, used to use it, or specifically the CCI part of it. All of the respondents agreed that it was uh, uh, at least helpful, or at least a bit apathetic to uh, the uh, how helpful it is to the CCI space. Thankfully, no one said that it was not helpful. Um, some of the users, uh, a few of the users requested image CCI, so that's uh, handling uh, possible copyrighted uh, images that uh, happen to make their way onto Commons or on the English Wikipedia. Many editors like the UI, so again, I'm very happy about that because uh, I'm very uh, uh, proud about <laughs> the user interfaces that I make. Uh, sometimes it's buggy, that is expected since it's a beta, but I'm actively working on it. Uh, just a few days ago at the hackathon room, I was fixing a bunch of bugs that I had as well. Uh, all of the respondents as well, good to note, all of the respondents were, the, were from the English Wikipedia. And that's because right now it caters specifically to English Wikipedia processes. But I do know that there are many other wikis that are experiencing copyright issues. So uh, if anyone wants to reach out, then sure, go ahead and uh, talk to me after the session. So um, st I'm still in the middle of compiling all of the survey responses, but eventually I'll have a uh, summary and a bit of the details in a uh, post on MetaWiki about uh, the total research data and a bit of analysis on that. So of course, there's still things that are needed to be done. The work isn't over. Uh, number one is uh, following uh, what they've uh, requested. So first, is I'm going to plan to integrate the Eric's copy via the detector into the tool so it makes uh, their job easier. And then the CCI request tool, actually, I've been working on already. You could see the uh, starting uh, look out of it. It looks pretty much like uh, one of the wizards you would have in an old computer, but it's actually, uh, I found this uh, to be very helpful for specifically for users who are new to the space, because if you give them a guided experience, they have a much uh, better experience trying to do it. And of course, a lot of bug fixing and features. Uh, of course, uh, developers will always spend their time doing uh, bug fixing, because well, you don't want a buggy program, don't you? And then uh, about the, uh, what about the copyright space in general? Well, currently there's a active uh, RFC that's being planned for the copyright space. So one of the things that we're pr uh, trying to get uh, is a bot to automate the copyright problems notice board. So currently all of the archiving and all of the uh, case filing is done manually, so we need to work on that. Next is the ability to scan uh, old pages, so pages that aren't uh, newly edited for copyright violations, especially for books and uh, newspapers, since usually uh, the uh, Earwig's copy via detector doesn't have access to that, so, uh, especially with paywalled sources, which we also have no access to. And sometimes uh, some text is copied from those as well. And uh, most importantly, uh, to the few people in this room, and hopefully some other people watching virtually, we need more copyright editors to help out. Uh, we have uh, just a, a small section of editors working. So if you uh, could uh, help, come in and help learn the process and then maybe help out in this space, because there's a lot of backlogs that we have to chip away at, you'd be, we'd be very much appreciated to have you, and we'd be very much appreciated to help you with uh, getting started. So that's all from me, and that's all for this report. Thank you very much for listening. Have a wonderful rest of your Wikimania. Oh, and if you have questions, yes, uh, feel free to just reach out to me after this.
Thank you.